I love Premiere Pro. It's a program that I've been using for almost like about 15 years now. But even after all that time, there's still new ways that I'm learning how to do things. And some of them I really wish I knew a long time ago. So today I'm sharing with you my four favorite tips that I really wish I knew when I first started out in Premiere Pro. And stay tuned to the very end to find out how you could win a free three month subscription to motionarray.com. Now, if you move the position of things a lot in Premiere, you're probably used to clicking and dragging these number sliders here, but there's some times that you look at your screen and just wish that you could just click and drag that icon or object or image around the frame manually. Well, you can. By highlighting the layer that you wanna move and clicking to highlight the motion section, you can now click and drag that item around your frame. And if you activate keyframing, then these changes will actually produce new keyframes when you move forward or backward in time. And if you still wanted to lock in just moving things horizontally or vertically, you can just hold shift while moving and it'll lock that motion in only one direction. Now, if you're working on a project and you've got a lot of text, you might be horrified if your client comes back to you and says, yeah, I want to go with a different font. But there's actually a solution to changing all of your fonts without changing each individual piece of text. Go up to graphics, replace font in projects, and you'll be given a breakdown of all the different fonts being used in your project. And you can batch change all of the text using the same font to be something completely different. This is one of those tips that you won't use every single day, but when the day comes that you're able to use it, it's gonna save you so much time. Now, this next one's just a nice quick setup to make your life a whole lot easier. If you have multiple clips or images of different sizes, then you can be frustrated when you drop in a bunch and some just don't fit in at all. Some are too big and some are too small. So the normal solution is that you can just right click the image you wanna change the size of and then click set to frame size. But this gets ridiculously tedious doing it for every single one. Instead, you can just go up to preferences, media, and set default media scaling to set to frame size. Now, when you drag and drop in your footage, you'll see it automatically does this work for you, saving you the hassle of doing it for each individual clip. And finally, here's one that might be a game changer for you. If you wanted to add the same change to all of the clips of a particular type, say adding a LUT or a color adjustment to a clip, or even adding an effect, if you have a lot of different instances of that same clip, then it can take up a lot of time to add those changes each individual time. So instead, you can just make all the changes to the source or master clip. Depending on your version of Premiere Pro, this has been called different things at different times. To find it, just highlight the clip that you wanna add these global changes to, either from your timeline or from your project panel. Now, when you go to your effect controls, you should see something like this. But if you go over here to the left, you should see either master or source. By clicking this, you'll see probably a blank page, which is why I think this tool is so often overlooked. But now if you add in the change that you wanna make, say for example, it's a color change with a LUT, all you have to do now is make those changes here or copy and paste those changes into this source section. And now that change has taken effect anywhere that source clip is present within your timeline. And guys, I really hope that you're able to save some time by using these tips. And if you wanted to save even more time, head over to motionarray.com where we have templates and presets to help you make an amazing looking video in a fraction of the time. And if you're looking to get a free three month subscription, now might be your lucky chance. Just comment down below which of these tips was your favorite and make sure to include the hashtag motion array giveaway. And I'm gonna be choosing one lucky winner this coming Thursday. And I'm also gonna be drawing the winner from our last video. So if you wanted an extra entry, make sure to go and comment in that video as well. But guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.